So here's the case study, the Great Barrier Reef Lagoon. Okay, you heard about coral bleaching, you heard about heat waves. Okay, let's, let's have a look at the Great Barrier Reef, you, because you think, oh, there's one Great Barrier Reef. It actually stretches over quite a distance. Okay, we're talking more than a thousand kilometers. Okay, so this is where it is. It show you, I show you a typical temp, uh, sea surface temperature image for the Coral Sea. Okay, this is just for one particular day, just to show you, show you the feature. Some of the currents, you know, South Equatorial Current, East Australian Current, you learned about that. Some current features. Okay, but I want to discuss now temperature and salinity time diagrams for three different regions, which are illustrated here on the map with these blue dots. Here we talk about the northern part. Okay. The blue dots are actually key rivers, river sources in this area. But we talk about the northern part, okay? the central part, and the southern part of the Great Barrier Reef. So you want to see whether there's they all these regions behave the same way or whether there's actually differences in TS seasonal cycle. And why it matters is because a heat wave, marine heat wave, only has a negative impact if it happens during the warmest time of the year and only if it impacts species that are not that can't tolerate this extra heat in the system so it's actually good to know when do you have the the months of the warmest uh, 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 um, ocean okay all right and what what are other features so let's let's get started 